can talk on Forecaster, a Bitcoin Monero atomic swap software implementation. Um, Forecaster uses Rust implemented microservices, um, quite heavy use of cryptography. And I'm going to talk about the past, present, and future of the software. So in short, Forecast is a CCS funded project. Um, the goal of the CCS was to implement Bitcoin Monero atomic swaps. The project was taken on initially by Crypt GmbH, a Swiss cryptocurrency R&D company, for which I was worked for. Um, it's open source and MIT licensed, and we spec'd out the entire protocol and software in a nine part RFC. In short, to recap um, on atomic swaps, for traditional swaps, you usually require a trusted third party as an arbitrator, which ensures that no fraud occurs um, when the swap is taking place. So an arbitrator needs to take custody of the funds at some point in the swap. Mm -hmm. Atomic swaps use cryptography instead of this arbitrator to ensure that the swap can take place without any frauds um, accompanying it. The CCS for Farcaster was funded with great enthusiasm. Um, we originally expected delivery of the software in Q1 2021 and Q2 2021 and budgeted the effort for five software developers. However, now we've um, so far completed 10 of 16 milestones. So the project is delayed since it's Q2 2022 now. Um, we also never had more than three developers at a working at a time and we also had a computing implementation um, released by commit of Bitcoin Monero atomic swaps though that atomic swap software is currently unmaintained next to commit being unmaintained at the moment there are other very good reasons for why we continue pushing on this project um, first of all forecast the swap implementation is symmetric um, it handles both buying and selling XMR and BTC in both directions. It's also possible to sweep Monero um, to a destination address once the swap is done. The core architecture and the core library of Farcasa is extendable towards future assets. And we built everything with a scalable microservices architecture. We also have support for the Monero Light Wallet server. And we developed the Farcasa.dev website which acts as an automated swap of the maker. Broadly, our architecture are Rust implemented microservices, which commute, communicate with each other over zero MQ message buses. These services are isolated by functions. So we have a service that implements the swap state machine, a service for the cryptography model, the database, etc. And all these services can be managed by a single command line application. Currently, we're pushing for a mainnet release soon, but seriously, we can expect it in one to two months. So keep an eye out for that on the Monero subreddit. Um, what, we really hammer, what we're really hammering on at the moment is ensuring that the users can recover funds no matter what. Um, this is especially in the learning from our competitors, where we saw some users come into real troubles when it came to recovering funds, and the early Lightning Network, where I also experienced some trouble myself when I had to recover funds from a dead channel. The API is nearly complete, and we will commence GUI development very soon. In, fu in the future, we want to tackle the free option problem, this is a problem that arises because in our protocol, Bitcoin always has to lock first, meaning that somebody who wants to make a swap always has to lock the Bitcoin first and therefore has to spend minimum one transaction fee without knowing that the counterparty will collaborate on the swap. We seek to solve this problem by either requiring an upfront cost to a reputable counterparty by the means of delay puzzles and proof of ownership or by putting an extra reputation network on top of Farcaster. 
Um, I've always, I, I've also been involved with speccing out Monero transaction chaining, and there's going to be another talk that's going to go more into depth um, on this topic later in the conference. And obviously, we we'll want to, at some point in time, support more assets other than just Bitcoin to swap against Monero. Thank you. Thank you.